All right, fam, welcome back to the channel. Today I got Jake and Eli. And today we're gonna to be showing you the new Air Force PT test. So the original Air Force PT test consists of a 1.5 mile run, full push-ups with the one minute time limit, and full sit-ups with the one minute time limit. Now to see what scores you would need based on your age and gender, Check out the link in the description for the document to show where you need to score based on your age bracket. All right, so starting this year, 2022, the Air Force released the new PT test, which includes the exercises of the hammer test, the hand release push-ups, or the cross leg reverse crunch or plank. Right, and so all these exercises, they're all interchangeable. For instance, the hammer for the one and a half mile, the hand release for the regular push-ups, the uh, reverse cross leg uh, sit up for uh, regular sit ups and as well as the plank. So you can choose which one of these exercises as long as you have one cardio strength and ab for whatever is best for you to pass your test. And we're all PTLs, physical training leaders. So that means we run unit and flight PT workouts and we also assist in administering official PT tests for airmen. And in addition to uh, running flight workouts and PT, it's also a good challenge to give yourself to push yours, but also to uh, push others and just motivate them throughout the workout and uh, the Air Force career. All right, so you have two minutes to complete as many hand release push-ups as you can. You're gonna start in the down position like Mosley is with your index fingers almost touching your shoulders or in about that position. You're gonna come up to a full extension, back down, and then you're gonna extend your hands without touching the ground and come back in. He's gonna do a couple so we can see. And everybody notice, when he comes up, he comes up in one unit. He's not doing a worm or anything like that. If you do that, then those push-ups do not count. You have to come up together in a straight line. All right, so we're gonna try this for ourselves. Let's see how we do. Yep. All right, so the minimum to pass your entire PT test is a 75. And the max, of course, is 100, all right? The strength portion of your test is gonna count for... How many 20 points? points? 20 points. And so my minimum is... What's my minimum? I'll, I'll, get, I'll put the minimum on the screen and my max <laughs> is gonna be 40. All right, I got two minutes. It's a little harder than I thought, but well, not too bad. If you just pace yourself, you'll be alright. I'm a little winged. 
All right, so the max was 40 hand release push-ups. We did 50, so that's a pass, full 20 points for the strength section. And now on to the core. All right, everybody. I'm gonna be doing the reverse cross leg crunch. Yeah. Um, I'll demo, you wanna skip over? Sure, sure, sure. So, for the reverse leg crunch, you're gonna lay down with your body straight. Just like the old PT test, we're gonna have our hands on our shoulders, but we're gonna have the completely extended, our feet touching the ground. All right, now he's gonna come up with both of his legs all the way up and he's going to touch his alternate elbow to his leg. Boom, come all the way back down and that's one. He's going to touch his feet to the ground every time. I want to do a few alternate and back down. This is the cross leg reverse crunch. All right. All right. Cool, cool, cool. And of course the other one is the plank. We're just on our elbows, correct? Great. And you're going to come up you're gonna have that straight back, having that good form, engaging your core. All right. I think the max is a three minute plank. I'll make sure the numbers are correct and I'll put it on the screen for you guys. But you're gonna hold this for as long as you can. Hands could touch, but they can't grab. I mean, you have two minutes to complete the cross leg. And of course, this one is time for as long as you can go and your, po your points will be based off of that. So Jake is gonna be doing the uh, cross leg reverse crunch. And the max for that is 49. And he's gonna have two minutes to do that. And then in the meantime, Kevin Kev is also gonna be uh, doing the blank. Yep. His goal is uh, 335. That's the max. But he's gonna shoot right past that. We already know Kev. Y'all see him. So we're gonna get started now in just two minutes. I went for more dares to get in this position. All right. Starting position is going to be heels on the ground, and then when I say start, he's going to begin the process, and then also uh, Kevin's going to go up. All right, I need a timer to stop for uh, All right. Come on, come on. You're good, bro. 
You're good. Maintain. Squeeze. Squeeze. Oh, you only got 30 seconds left there. Easy. Easy. What time? Oh, three minutes. Three. Three or two. Three or three. Three or four. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Come on. Squeeze. You good. 20 seconds. Yes, yes, yes. Squeeze. Squeeze. 15, bro. Come on. That's 10. 9. Come on. Come on. 35. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it. I need 35. All right, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You're almost there, bro. Hold it, hold it. Let's go, let's go. That's it? No, 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 seconds. keep going, keep going. 15 seconds. Oh, I'm not there yet? <laughs> Did that <laughs> You made it 350. <laughs> <laughs> like, 335, 335, 18. That's good, that's Get a friend good. like that, get a friend like that. Damn. Push you more than you need to. Sounds good. He's sprint, sprint, sprint. <laughs> it's like when you gotta sprint past the line. Don't sprint to the line. No, that was good. That was, that was good. good. That was good. What do you think of the, the cross leg? You feel it once you hit like 30, for yeah. sure. If you're going slow, same thing with the hand release pushes. I feel like you'll be able to maintain that. You know? But it's kind of different going from one minute rushing to two minutes and you have all this extra time mm -hmm. pacing yourself with that. Same for the plank. It's a little harder than uh, regular setups, just because you're thinking about it in your head. But if you can get past that, it's not too bad. It's not terrible. And like I said, we did the max. You know, always you should shoot for the max. But just to give you all an idea. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is like a mariachi. Nah. <laughs> I'm there, there, son. Oh, oh no, no. no. The oh, the like, Post Malone like, song. No, it's numb by uh, Khaled. It's uh, I just want to get uh, and, fuck, and fuck, forget where I'm from. Cause looking in your eyes, like looking at the sun. Yeah, that's all I, I feel like you're the one. That's a I feel like right? I'm the one. Uh -huh. I want to get no. Mm, 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 mm. Are you recording this? I want to get it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, so now we're gonna do the alternative to the 1.5 mile. We're gonna do the hammer test which stands for the high aerobic multi shuttle run it's a 20 meter run you're going against the tone as you can see we got our cones it's gonna be about 20 meters or it is 20 meters you want to explain the rules yeah so real quick um from one end to the end from one end to the other end is a uh, one shuttle right 20 meters um your foot has to touch the line you don't have to cross the line your foot just needs to touch turn get ready for the audio to tell you to go to the next one um you have three chances if to uh, miss but they have to be consecutive so let's say you miss three consecutive lines so you miss 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 your test is terminated but the good thing of that is that's consecutive it's not total so let's say you miss miss and you work your butt off to make the third one it resets so the whole point of this test is to see as much as you can and um substitute for the one and a half mile run Right, and our max on this one is 100, so that's what we're gonna go for. I'll put the minimum on the screen, just that you guys can get a baseline, but of course, we're always gonna shoot for the max, and we're gonna see how this goes. All right. The 20 meter high aerobic multi-shuttle run will begin in five seconds. Take your position. Five, four, three, two, one. Level one, one. Level one, two. Are you not allowed to go back? Level one, three. Level one, four. Level one, five. 
level two. Level ten two. Level ten three. Level ten four. Level. Could have done more. Should have. No joke. Guys, yeah, stop and go. A2, man. Level 8, part 2. I fell out, fell out the one before 10. I did level 10, 3. We'll have to calculate the score. The thing is, like, I, uh, I was running, right? And the first beep, it's like, I just barely, I was like, I was there and then it beeped and then it was like, run back. And then it happened again. It was like there. As soon as I got there, before touching the line, it beeped. That's just a different type of pacing. You know, usually I like to run. You keep your own pace when you run the mile and a half. Right. You got to follow this guy's pace. Hey, it's the first time though, so. Yeah, plus we're outside in the heat, bro. Yeah, most you of the time. Good grip. I'm not making excuses, but you can do this inside. Yeah. Might be a little easier. <laughs> we'll be back, man. Better than ever next time. I'm getting a hundred. For sure. All right. So, what, All right, so that's the end of our test. We did the full hammer. Um, what did y'all think about it? I didn't think it was too bad. I definitely want to practice it and get a little better at it. But First time, not so bad. Sore in the hips, you know. Kind of, It's kind of tough with that stop and go. Very mm -hmm. different. Yeah, my cardio has been trash ever since I joined the military, not gonna lie except for like a few weeks in BMT. But uh, I have been working on that. The hammer call, the hammer, uh, the hammer test was like a good point to like see where I am right now. Made it to eight and I'll definitely be doing it again, trying to take it the whole way. But overall it was pretty beneficial, I'll say. And what would y'all say to people coming in to get ready for this or the original test, whichever they choose to take? Um, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, coming in, I say probably incorporate running in your uh, your weekly schedules, like at least like two to three times a week. And it doesn't matter if you're like uh, hitting the gym, lifting weights, doing push-ups. Oh, honestly, I feel like uh, any type of strength activity will get you to where you need to be. But uh, just make sure you're working on like form when it comes to those different exercises. And for myself, I would say coming into the military, I was pretty fit as it was. But coming into BMT, I wasn't used to running the uh, 28 minutes that they have you run. I don't know if they still do, but I will say definitely get used to running more. You know, get yourself a good pair of shoes, get nice and comfortable with running because you're going to be doing that a lot in, in basic. And as far as the physical and core endurance of the exercises that you saw, I would mainly say don't worry about the muscle, how big you are, how strong you are. Just focus on being healthy and being able to do those specific exercises, like mainly of big emphasis on um, calisthenics workouts, not so much weights. So, something that uh, he just said about like the running, you get some good running shoes. I've had these running shoes since BMT. Hey, <laughs> these are, the these are my BMT <laughs> running shoes. Hey, I mean, yeah. for me, man, I would just say, keep in the habit of being active, you know? Going to the gym, 
or at least doing some sort of physical activity for an hour, at least five days a week, any test will be all right for you, you know? Just to get in that habit of going and being active, whether you're running, whether you're doing, you know, practicing the form of whatever you're doing, body weight, calisthenics, even hitting the gym, you know? Right. And like uh, our cameraman Holland was saying, just uh, practice the each component to really know what you're getting into, you know? But yeah, that's all that we got for you guys. We appreciate you watching. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section. You know, I'll put these in, guys Instagram. Turn around, Owen. Show them our camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, yeah. What's hey. up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, flip again, flip again. Big yeah. shout out to this man. He's the true MVP. Yeah. This yeah. man right here, he's in the works behind the camera. He made this all possible for today. He stood out yes, here in this sir. hot. Uh, Florida, oh, wet, Florida weather, sweating his butt off, and he's not even exercising. So big shout out to this guy right here. Yep, yep. Breaking the stereotype of the chair force one day at a time. Yeah. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. Stay blessed. Peace.